400 pound gorilla here and you're looking at the LA Police Gear TBFK S35 VN EDC folding knife. Yes, that's the official name. Um, a lot of acronyms there, but essentially what we're looking at here and the big selling point on why you should buy this knife is that blade is S35 VN and this knife retails for $49.99. Now, if you're as uh, tight as bark on a tree like the Degrilla, you don't necessarily want to spend a lot of money on a knife. Um, but, and I really wanted to like this knife because in addition to buying it during a period where they were offering free shipping, I also had a 10% off coupon, so I ended up getting this for 45 bucks. And that's probably about as cheap as you're going to find an S35 VN knife. Uh, there's the uh, LA Police Gear logo. There's the blade identifier with the uh, S35 VN. And of course, you can see that it is made in China. You have a deep carry clip here. Um, and the retention on the clip it's pretty soft. It's pretty easy to move with just a thumbnail, but it does, for that reason, slide easily into the pocket, and it is uh, deep carry, but you've got those screws at the top that might get in the way with some of the fabric. You can see that it is a liner lock. You can see the lock up there. Um, get, let you get a look at the blade centering. dual thumb studs, there's your G10 handle, some nice uh, contouring, let's see if you can see that if we look at it from the edge, um, and this is a ball bearing mechanism, so it does flip, I wouldn't say it flips consistently without uh, some slight wrist action. Um, you can also do it with the thumb studs. Yep. I wasn't trying to do this on camera. There you go. But uh, as someone else pointed out, I think Everyday Tactical Vids did a video on this and he was saying this flipper tab does tend to get in the way when you're trying to use the thumb studs, but you can sort of get used to that just by lowering your grip on the handle a little bit. And it is much more solid when you use the thumb studs. That seems to work most of the time than when you use the flipper. But I guess you get used to either way of doing it. Overall length on this knife is 8 inches or 20 centimeters. You have a 3 and 3 eighths inch blade uh, drop point with a flat grind. Hopefully you can see all that and uh yeah and there's your flipper tab which can act as a little bit of a thumb guard um thickness on that you can see the jimping on the thumb ramp there the thickness on that is 3.3 millimeters or about an eighth of an inch uh, the s35 vn steel is supposed to be about four times tougher than 440c or 154 cm 440C is a pretty common for the knives that I mostly buy, which are the Ganzos or the 8CR13 MOV from the San Remus. Um, this knife weighs about 4.7 ounces, uh, which is 169 grams. I really want to love this knife. Paid 45 bucks for an S35VN knife. I wanted it to work. I wanted it to be a knife that I got and said, wow, this is great. But here's what I'm thinking. This is pretty much new out of the box. I haven't given it any hard use. And I want you to look at those liners. Now, the other, I got the satin blade. And the other blade is what they call the uh, black wash. And I guess if I had to try to convince myself that this liner material is supposed to match the black wash. I could try to do that, but to me, it just doesn't look like it's well 
finished out. It looks like it's, uh, you know, kind of crappy looking new out of the box. Maybe they should do the satin blade one with uh, just plain stainless steel liners. Maybe if this was the black wash blade, um, it would kind of match that. I don't know. But to me, that uh, for a $50 knife, that just doesn't seem to be the, the right way to go. And I hope you're seeing that. Um, just doesn't seem all that great. So anyhow, uh, cutting wise, this thing does an excellent job. Uh, got no complaints at all. The cuts it makes, the quality of the steel. You know, the most important thing is the steel you're getting, and the S35VN is the ticket. And for 45 bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, this uh, liner lock, as pointed out in uh, Everyday Tactical Vids re review of it, this does this uh, jimping on the liner lock does stick out a little bit from the blade. Hopefully, you're seeing that. And so, when you're getting your grip on it, that is going to eventually bite into your uh, hand. But otherwise, the ergos feel comfortable. The G10 on the handle scales. Feels comfortable and there's so many ways in which I like this knife but I don't like the poor finish out of the liners anyhow for 45 bucks my cost shipped to me from uh, LA police gear that was with a 10% off coupon and on a weekend when they were doing free shipping normally it's uh, $50 plus you'd probably pay at least four bucks or so for shipping um, S35VN, that's the big selling point on this. I wished I loved it. Maybe it'll grow on me. It, it's probably grown on me a little bit since I've had it, but uh, it's not a knife that I'm in love with. So your mileage may vary. If you want, you're probably not gonna find any place else where you're gonna get S35VN for uh, under 50 bucks. So take that for what it's worth. This is the 400 pound Gorilla out.